Welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back for app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash Course, we will see a few more methods of the user class. So, I have here my user class with two users I've created on the episodes uh, before, and we have Ricardo and Alex K, and also I have the notes class with a few notes, and two of them are uh, ACL restricted to those users, and one is public. So, if I go to my code, I have here the code from last episodes where I log in as Alex K and then I query my node class, my node class, and print the nodes that that user has access to. So, if I go to my terminal and type node index.js, you see the user Alex K has access to the public node and to a private node. So, what if we have the user logged out and want to uh, limit their access when they don't have uh, logged in? In order to do so, we have to call the logout method, but since I'm using Node.js to call this, there's one extra step which is required on uh, Node.js environments and React Native which is calling this method here called parse.user. enable unsafe current user. Uh, this is necessary because uh, it's implemented to discard stateful usages on server side configurations. So if you're using Node.js environments, you have to put that line there. And uh, I'll keep this uh, listing but then I'm going to log out my user. We do that by getting the current user and equals parse.user.logout. Then we can console log it. After the user logging out, I will try to read this exactly same query and see what happens. When I call the parse logout user, it will null this object here. So I'll get an exception since it will try to use the method get of a new object and this will throw an error. So if I go back here, node index.js, you see I have access at first and then I logged out and then I got a get not a function because the user object is now uh, null. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to remove this piece of code here and let the find without the session token. And to clear my console, and know the next JS again. So you can see at first when I'm logged in, I have access to the public and private nodes. Then I log it out. And after logged out, I only have access to the public node. Uh, sometimes it's also necessary to re re reset passwords for the users uh, when they forget about their password. Uh, in order to do so, we have to call this method parse.user.requestPasswordReset and then we have to pass an email. Parse will send an email for with instructions for the user to reset their own passwords. So in my case it's alex at alex.com or you could uh, have the email from your user object if the user is logged in. When you call the logout method you won't have uh, access to that data anymore. So I'm going to comment this out. And if I come here, oh, also this is an async method, so there you go. The email was sent with instructions to how to reset passwords. So this is what we had for the episode of today, and I hope to see you on the next episode. So hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.